So this is the microfluidic chip. The first part is the control flow layer. This is the PDMF which goes in between the flow layer and the control layer. This is the control layer identified by these knobs. So first step is to clean them with the alcohol and the toothbrush and blow it dry. The next step is to put the PDMS and align it properly. PDMS which has been put on the control layer. Now we just put the flow layer over it in a way that all the schematics is aligned. Okay, so as you can see this flow layer and control layer are assembled along with the PDMS in between. So the idea is to align the control valves properly so that the flow is not restricted. So this part is complete. Now we put it in the... So after that we need to clamp it together like this using 8 clamps. and. Uh, then we have to put in the desiccator for uh, which is like uh, which is for providing the sealing uh, to the PDMS layer. So what we do is we put it inside. And then we close the lid. After that with the power supply and see if this is closed properly. So this is open. So now we close it. This is a manual check whether it's closed or not. It seems closed because there's no bias coming out of it. So now I believe it for like 10 to 15 minutes. After that we leave it for another 10 minutes to release the whole vacuum and then we take the chip for the experiment. So this is the setup for a microfluidic experiment. This is the microfluidic chip with the clamps. The clamps hold the chip for it's like it's for the control and flow layers alignment. This is the control for the valves. The mot uh, you have this RC servo motor. It's an analog servo motor that works at a 50 hertz refresh rate and PWM widths between 700 microseconds to 2300 microseconds. Here is a P mod servo control for the for driving the motor. And this is our FPGA, the Z board. This is a 5 volt supply for the motor that comes in from the uh, from the board. It's a filtered DC supply. And this is the laptop will generate the bit stream and put it on the FPGA. And this is the syringe pump that is used to push the fluids onto the flow layer. And the motors will control the control layer for opening and closing the valves. So now we are going to program the board. <coughs> this is just to check if the motor is running correctly and we are able to actuate the valves. So uh, let's just try a set command. So as we can see it correctly pulled back the syringe pump. So this is working as we want it to. Uh, now let's see another instruction let's just try unsetting it so we should see the reverse motion in the syringe pump so it sets it back and this is exactly what we want the syringe pump to do so we'll now start with the experiment we'll start pumping in the fluids and we'll give 
give the set command to open the valves So as you can see the liquids are moving in and we'll now unset the valves for the unset action.